have to say, I was out there cleaning off the driveway this morning and seeing the, the snow stick to the trees and everything. It was kind of nice. I know. <laughs> at least it's like it's very pretty. It's very nice looking. We'll get to hold on to it for a couple of days because of how cold it's going right. to be. But overall, this snow did have a bit of a higher water content. So that's why it was able to kind of stick to the trees. But that also means that it's going to have a much higher chance of freezing overnight tonight. Now, after those snow showers moved out earlier this morning, we had mostly overcast skies throughout the day. We did start to see some clearing late in the day in northern and eastern Maine, but even the cloudy skies in western Maine overnight tonight aren't going to help too much with keeping our temperatures a little bit higher. Low temperatures are going to be in the single digits all the way down to the coast, and areas in northern Maine going to be even below zero. So it's going to be a very cold night, definitely the coldest night of the week, setting us up for the coldest day of the week for the day tomorrow. That's why I want to look at the wind chills as well because it's also going to feel a lot colder than it actually is outside there tonight. So as we get into early tomorrow morning, it feels like temperatures in the negatives all the way down to the coast. So because of that snow having such a high water content, I do worry about some black ice on paved surfaces and on sidewalks overnight tonight. So just keep an eye on that for late tonight and into early tomorrow morning as well. So as we get into the morning, like I said, uh, single digits and it feels like temperatures below zero all the way down to the coast. By the time we get to midday, it's not going to feel too much better. We start to get into the lower teens where we aren't going to have too much wind to speak of, not like high gusts or anything. So it's going to be feel pretty close to the ambient temperature outside. As we get into early Wednesday morning, still in the negatives up in northern Maine, it feels like single digits closer to the coast, a little bit warmer than tonight, but overall still a little bit chilly over the next couple of days. It's going to take until about the middle of this week before we finally start to warm up like we get into Wednesday. It feels like temperatures into the 20s certainly feels a lot better than the teens and single digits. Now we're going to be in a much calmer pattern over the next couple of days, high pressure in control. So Tuesday is going to be a mostly sunny day throughout the afternoon. Wednesday, I would say, is a little bit cloudier than Tuesday, but overall still a pretty nice day out there. Again, high pressure and control over the next couple of days, so it's going to be pretty quiet really until we get into the day Thursday. And that's where we're watching this clipper system, which is going to clip us with a little bit of snow, especially up in northern Maine. So we're watching this system because it's a little bit interesting how it comes up from Canada from our north and then it starts to become a stronger system just when it gets off of the coast of Maine. So we're going to watch this one over the next couple of days because if it becomes a little bit stronger like this a little bit sooner when it's over Maine, we could get a little bit more snow out of it. But right now only looks to be about an inch, maybe two inches in northern Maine. So overall, not looking like too much of a big deal, but we'll keep an eye on that. So like I said, cold start to this week, especially to stay highs only in the upper teens to lower 20s. Then temperatures really start to moderate as we get into the middle of the week. Friday is definitely going to be the warmest with temperatures almost reaching the 40s. Marine forecast sees three to seven feet. We've got that gale warning in effect until early tomorrow morning. So our seven day forecast this week overall is going to be a lot calmer than last week. Last week was a very active pattern, but now we're going to kind of switch into a much calmer one. Again, watch for some black ice overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Definitely cold tomorrow. We start to warm up as we get a little bit later in the week, but Zach will keep an eye on that system for Thursday into Friday. Right now, it just looks like a couple of snow showers, but we'll keep an eye on it. But things will be getting a little bit warmer. So if you're enjoying the snow, take a good look while it's here. Sounds good, Dana. Thanks so much.